हेलो वेलकम टू एवरी वन इन दिस भिडियो दिस इज आर लेक्चार नम्बर इलेवेन अलरेडी टेन लेक्चार्स उ कवर फ्रम लेक्चार नम्बर वन टू सेभेन उ डिसकस अबाउट द सल्यूशन अब दि सेकेंड अर्डार डिफारेंसियल इक्ुएशन बै दि मेथड दैट इज द फोवेनियस मेथड ओके एंड उ डिसकस मेनलि दि लेजेंडरि पलोनोमियल बेसल फांगशन एंड हारमाइ डिफारेंसियल इक्ुएशन हूज सल्यूशन एक्चुअलि अबटेंड बै दि फोवेनियस मेथड and we get the generating function recurrence relation etc we discuss in this lecture 1 to 7 then we start the partial differential equation solution by the separation of variable from 8 9 10 this three actually consist uh, these two consist the generally uh, laplace equation in cartesian coordinate system or solution by separation of variable lecture number 10 that is the last one was the solution of the laplace equation in the cylindrical coordinate system right in this lecture we want to discuss the solution of laplace equation in spherical polar coordinate system okay let's start look at this syllabus this uh, portion covered from lecture number 1 to 7 and we start this portion from lecture 8 uh, and 9 cover of this one and last lecture covered this cylindrical part in this lecture we wants to discuss the spherical symmetric boundary and example from the electrostatic this two portion we want to discuss okay i think clear about the root of the lecture series let's start okay <clears throat> solution of laplace equation in problem with this spherically symmetric boundary condition when the boundary condition is spherically symmetric so we need to solve this laplace equation in spherical polar coordinate system such that we can uh, use the boundary condition right since this boundary condition is spherically symmetry so you need to solve this laplace equation in spherical coordinate such that we can apply this boundary condition okay so this is the laplace equation and this gat square in the spherical polar coordinate system can be written like that so from the method of separation of variable you can see there is three variable r radial distance theta and the phi there is three uh, coordinate r this angle is theta with respect with the axis z and this projection with the axis x this angle is phi i think you know this spherical polar coordinate system now you can take this partial derivative with respect to r theta and phi and just put in this equation 1 you will be obtain this expression and just rearranging them uh, you can see this phi part is uh, sorry this r part is separate out from the theta and phi part so this is separate out this is the only function of r so we can take the separation constant lambda so if you uh, this equating to this lambda and just rearranging them and take this substitution r equals to to the power t you can see this expression will gives you like that and finally you get this expression and you know the solution of this equation you can obtain this uh, second order differential equation solution in the previous lecture we already discussed this one so second order differential equation solution you will get these two roots which are real and unequal so the solution will be like that just uh, replace this e to the power t as r e to the power t as r you will be get this solution so we easily obtain this radial part of this solution clear here the important thing is that this product of these two roots is nothing but the minus 1 and the uh, sorry product is minus lambda and the sum is minus 1 so if you take m1 is l and m2 is minus l by 1 you can see these two are satisfied and lambda equal to like that so uh, we write this radial part solution as a e to the power r l plus b e to the power minus l plus 1 uh, we take this l and l plus 1 such that this will help in the finding the legendary polynomial in the upcoming solution okay that's why you take this through special uh, solution but uh, this not uh, not hamper the solution because it satisfy these two condition right so we got the radial part of this solution so the remaining part, two part is theta and phi so uh, write down this uh, rest equation that is the, this equals to lambda so the positive part will be equal to minus lambda take this as a minus l no 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 we obtain this value of lambda equal to like that just put these things right okay 
multiply with sin square phi you will be get this one and this take as theta and this phi so you can see this now is phi is separate out and this is theta so these two are separate out now we can take the separation constant this is taken as the k square so you can see this is the general solution is cos and sine okay this is the elemental so we obtain the r solution phi solution remaining is the theta solution so write down this theta part write down this theta part uh, in this equation this is equal to k square so write down this theta part and take this mu as a cos theta so take this cos theta as a mu so d mu d theta equals to minus sin theta and minus sin theta is nothing but root under 1 minus cos square theta that is minus root under 1 minus mu square so if you take capital this is capital theta this is small theta d capital theta by d theta can be changed into the mu so the mu d theta is nothing but minus root under like that okay so this is the first derivative if you take this term that is you want to uh, find out this in terms of mu so if you change in theta with respect to mu and just put this value uh, there was a sin theta sin theta is nothing but root under 1 minus cos square that is root under 1 minus mu square and d theta d theta is like that and d mu d theta equal to just for product this thing you can easily find out this one okay so put these things in this equation 3 uh, the theta change into the mu cos theta change into mu this will be the equation and you can see this is nothing but the associate legendary equation this is associate legendary equation whose solution can be found when k equals to 0 this uh, this becomes a legendary equation and a legendary equation solution we obtain in the differential equations uh, that is from lecture number 1 to 7 we discuss that is the solution of legendary equation so this will be the solution right so this uh, uh, this becomes solution and this uh, must be a uh, finite within its limit if this is a finite within limit so this q will be diverge uh, actually this uh, will be diverge or uh, is depend on the boundary condition okay so this will be depends on the boundary condition whether this will be diverge uh, or this will be diverge that is co constant f or e which will be becomes zero or those uh, both are non-zero is depends on the boundary condition so you need to uh, check the boundary condition after that you can find out this uh, constant okay so just a general solution you can write the general solution is like that that is the r part radial part this is the azimuthal part and this is the theta part this is the, the general solution of this laplace equation in spherical polar coordinate system general general solution solution of laplace equation laplace equation laplace equation in spherical polar coordinate system spherical polar coordinate system spherical polar coordinate system clear i think clear this is the general solution of the laplace equation in spherical polar coordinate system okay now look at some example from electrostatics consider <coughs> an uncharged conducting sphere of radius a is placed at the origin in an in initially uniform electric field like that there is a initially in electric field and a uncharged conducting sphere is <coughs> placed with no, in this region so that this behaves like a electric dipole clear so we take uh, we can take this uh, electric field along the z direction we can take this along the z direction for symmetry so this electric field uh, corresponding potential will be like that and this taken uh, to be zero this satisfies the laplace equation so uh, for a lot the you must be like that so you can uh, write down this symmetry that is the uh, laplace equation solution you can write down this one we take this q as zero because uh, this will be the finite at r tends to uh, zero because there is r to the power you can see here this r to the power uh, sorry uh, this q part will be zero because this will be the finite and uh, like that so this will be the solution and this as as uh, symmetrically axially symmetry that th there is no theta dependence since axially symmetry there is no theta dependence that's why we did not write this theta uh, sorry 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 this is axially symmetry means there is no phi dependence there is no phi dependence that's why this phi component does not return here okay 
Now this take boundary condition that is the in for for l equals to one. This will be the solution, and this v equal to like that. So if we comparing then you will be get the a one value, and this is the con uh, conducting that r equals to a. This v must be constant. So put r equals to a. This must be constant, and this taken as zero, you will be get the b one value. So put this value a one and b one. You will be get this potential within this region, and if you find out this potential nature. Will be like that. That is, the, the R will be positive and this will be negative. So this become a dipole. Clear. Next question: A hollow split conducting sphere is placed at this origin. This is hollow conducting sphere. This is split. The one part is surface is charge potential V not. This upper part taken as V not, and the another half is kept as zero potential. Take this lower part as zero potential. Find the potential V inside and outside this pair. So you need to find out the potential at this inside and the outside of this pair. So this boundary condition written as this for uh, theta equals to zero to pi by two. This will be V naught, and for pi by two pi, this will be zero. Okay. So the corresponding cos theta is zero to one, and this is minus one to zero. Since this is axially symmetric, so there will be m equals to zero. That means there uh, this is not a phi dependent. Since this is axially symmetric, so there is no phi dependence. No phi dependence. You can write here no phi dependence because this is symmetric dependence. Okay. And since since uh, this is finite, uh, so this q part also zero. So finally, you get this is the general solution for that case. Now you know for inside, for inside, for inside. Uh, uh, for inside, if you wants to find out for inside, that's mean r less than a. Uh, that is at r equals to zero. That's mean origin. This v by n must be finite within this pair. This will be finite. So if you put r equals to zero, you can see this will be diverse. That's why you b l must be zero. So this coefficient will be zero. So you'll be get a l r to the power l p l cos theta. Okay. This is for inside. Now you can. Find out this boundary condition. You know that is the for r equals to l. This v equals like that, and this is for zero uh, to l. This will be, be becomes this uh, v value, and the other part will be zero. So you can easily find out the coefficient. Just put this value a equals to zero. Uh, this is, will be one. For a equals to zero, you'll be get this one. A zero equals to zero by two. If put a equals to one, you'll get a one a. Uh, three uh, l equals to one, so three by two v naught and p one, which is mu. So integrating, you will be get a one. Similarly, for two, you will be get a three equals to zero, a three equals to like that. So I think you can find out this coefficient. So after getting coefficient, we put this value in this expression. Put this value in this summation expression. So you will be get the total solution for inside r less than a. For outside, you will be uh, you can see this uh, for r tends to infinity. This term will be diverged. That's why a l must be zero. So the b l will be present in that case. And using this boundary condition, you will be get the integrating uh, for l equals to zero. You will be get this value. Uh, and for <coughs> this equals to zero, I think there is a mistake. Sorry for that, but. So you can see uh, that is the uh, okay. So for l equals to one, you can see this is the value of uh, b one, and for l equals to two, this is b two and b three. So final solution will be like that. Clear. So we got these two solution for l r less than a for inside, and this is for outside. Clear. I think clear. All the we discussed in this lecture. If there is any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. This is your homework. Do yourself. I think you can do this. If there is any problem to solve this question, you must comment in the comment box. Right. So that's it for today. This is all about me. This is my contact detail. You can connect with me with this Telegram channel, and this is my online platform. This is my YouTube channel details. Go to this channel. You will be get the different physics related video. Like this session. If you learn something from this session, share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video. Subscribe this channel if you need this channel. Those already subscribed. Thanks for subscribing. Press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video. So take care. We will meet in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.